morning, day if I here, and welcome back to Kitty Powers Love Life. Now I'm going to try something new slash old this episode, which was I got a comment saying that uh, someone does not like the uh, edited videos because they feel too abrupt, and I'm like, okay, I kind of understand that. Like, I feel that way too. I feel like I don't get to go on enough random silly tangents, which are kind of really enjoyable uh, to talk about sometimes, and... Um, now, the, the only problem is that um, it means we will get less done in the videos. So, I don't know. I'm gonna try it again. We'll see if maybe we can do a little bit better. Now that we're not so far out from, uh, like, it's... We're moving forward. Maybe I'll, like, do edited videos when I'm trying to cause affairs. Ooh, a fire a eater position. Did we know? Oh, but she's already an alternative. Well, she didn't like being an alternative club promoter, so we'll give that to Farah. I know she's already two stars, so it's kind of pointless, but I don't know. Let's give it a go. I want her to be happy, at least. And if she's not happy what she's doing, then she should, um, you know, go and find something else to do. Looks like, oh yeah, art glass. Went off without a hitch with Isabel. <laughs> Who could have seen that one coming? Now you get to do it every week. I, I wonder if in this small town where there's probably not a lot of people, if they ever just run out of art glass to look at. Like, oh, hey, you know, we've seen it all. Hmm, that's interesting. Back. Get that. Jump in that. Hmm. I wonder what's causing it to sometimes uh, shift. It feels like sometimes it just goes to the wrong sort order, and I don't really know what's causing that. Maybe it's whenever I go into an event. Only one way to find out. We are back for another job interview. We want to be a fire eater. Of course we look like fire eater material now. One thing that I do need to keep going is we are fire eater. Edgy is a plus. I think we could have called that. So I'm gonna guess active. Meticulous. Okay, probably running around. Let's go with active, because I feel like fire eater also means fire dancer. And then let's go with meticulous planning, because my gosh, if you don't do that, that would be kind of bad. And methodical. How do we do? Oh, no, no, oh, bad. Interesting. We do not meet the requirements for that. Wow, that surprises me a little bit. I thought for sure we had that. Are they supposed to be carefree? I figure you just, you want to know your routine, perhaps? Let's uh, let's just give the job to someone else. Choose a client. It'll be fine. Um, do we have someone who would actually like it? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe Matilda? She's practical. That's no way she'd like that. Let's go with Alana. We'll give it to Alana. Have her replace that. Go to the salon. Mm. Schedule an appointment for Alana just a bit before. You know, just edgeify her a little bit. Matilda, you're lucky. You lucked out. I'm not getting you this job as a fire eater, all right? So, what can I Take say except you're welcome? Hmm, let's see what we got. Oh, see, but now I'm worried that she doesn't like her job. Okay, was it a personal problem? Problem with your job? Awesome! Let's make a compromise. Just wait for me to find you a new job, alright? Everything is going to be okay. I miss that show, American Inventor. That was a good show. It had some ridiculous ideas. If you've never seen American Inventor, it's kind of like Shark Tank meets American Idol. Now, if you haven't seen Shark Tank or less likely American Idol, then it's a little bit more difficult to explain. But it was essentially um, inventors brought in their ideas, and then they auditioned in front of judges, and then once they got to like the final 24, they started doing fan voting for who would go through. It was it was a good little it was a good little time, but this one guy brought in like this really creepy, uh, like a doll that was just supposed to be like a therapy doll. And all it does is when you squeeze its hand, it just says in a really creepy voice. Ev oh, low quality too. That's the important part. Like imagine like old school YouTube like 144p audio quality. Just, Everything is going to be okay. 
So go look it up on YouTube. I, I found it just recently. I think you can just look it up via American Inventor. Everything is going to be okay. It's time so, to whew, it's something the else. But I think that show only got one season. And by golly, I think it deserved a lot more than that, because it was really cool. They, like, took inventors through, um, the entire, uh, I don't even know who you are. Knife throwing, right? Like, knife throwing. Yeah, it was great. I love it. Um, they, they, like, took them through, like, the entire production thing. So, like, when it got to Final 24, they actually had, like, one of the judges helping them, uh, create prototypes. And then the final, I think it was, like, the final three got to make an actual final product as it would be sold on shelves with like um i think they had like marketing options and packaging like all figured out as well it was really cool yeah she doesn't think that you really think it was super optimal i don't know if i want to play doctors and nurse sorry doc i think i got real healthy all of a sudden i want to go home all right okay great Yes, we're going home. Who's message? See, it switches sort order. Interesting. The icon didn't change. Amount of intimacy is still a problemo. Well, now problemos are not allowed here in South Sunstairs. I hope you know that. So we're going to fix your problemos and turn them into prob. Awesomes. I don't know. I was like, is it Lamo or do they make him like problem? Yes. But then that sounds like yes. There's a pro. That joke died before it even started. Let's just pretend it never happened. No. No. Ah, come on. You need you want me to spend forty coins on this? Just give me horoscopes. Okay. There we go. You guys gonna talk about this? You guys gotta be ready to move out. You guys are doing so well. Oh my gosh. You guys read each other's. Horoscopes for Capricorn. I have pretty good match astrologically. I think that's going to be one of the hardest uh, problems to get is a problem with horoscopes because you need to get two people who like horoscopes and have different signs. My goodness, because I would, I don't know, maybe, yeah, like that's the only way they'd have a problem, really, I would think. Uh, comic store clerk. Uh, we don't really have a geeky one. We could give that to... Really, it would just be giving it to um, Farah again. See, look at that. It changes. It changes. The amount of intimacy is still a problem. Well, don't... Don't do that. Just stop having problems. Just... Instead of messaging me, message her and just be like... Hey, wanna intimacy with me? And she'll be all up in your grill. Trust me, probably, probably. I don't really know how that works out. Okay, what do we got going on? Oh, right, Alana's getting a makeup. Let's just skip over that last part. It does not even matter. Okay, Alana needs to be edified. Really worries me because Isabel's pretty happy. Like, do we have them planning their engagement slash wedding or whatever? Okay, let's have a seat. We will get you. I like your Jesus purple hair. That's staying. But we're gonna get some decent looking edgy hair. I always like this hairstyle. It's a good hairstyle. And go for the orange lipstick. Go for a nearly full makeover. Why not? Look at how cheap that is. I don't think we need to get the full makeover, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. That's about all I have to say about that. I'm pretty sure I don't need that. I'm gonna hope I- that's friends. Is this not linked? Psst, did I not have them lit? My goodness. How did that get unlinked? I don't know. Coins earned? Look at me. I'm the best. Best week. Good to see some people are still playing this a little bit. A little bit. I'm doing the best though. That's all that matters. Promotion points. Okay, info. Missions. Yeah, yeah, we had the full makeover. So we just need 30 more coins and two more partner panic events. Well, we have three days to do it. So I think we'll be quite all right. Not too concerned. Look at this. Look at this partner panic event. It's just trying to help us out right now. Farah, 
What's it happening? What's going on? Why are you so sad? No clue Time what to talk about. Oh, yeah, you guys topic. literally have nothing to talk about. Sorry, I can't help you. Okay. You guys are hopeless, okay? That's all the that's all there is to it. She got a makeover? Ooh, need a new hairdo. Wow. Hey, she loves your hairdo. Look at that. Perfectly neutral. It's exactly how we like it right there. I'm like, not sure what just happened there. Well, you got your hairdo done did. Okay, that's all I got. To, again, like, I just, I can't follow up some of these jokes because they're so awful. So Pixie, let's help you and Eliza out. You guys gotta solve your intimacy problems before you move out. So let's just talk about intimacy. I need you to do the spicy things with me just a bit more often. Right? We're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat because... <laughs> got no faith. I've got the yips when it comes to this game. I'm like, no, 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 I can't do it. I'm just gonna, ah, I couldn't even get the jackpot. Well, what would have been the jackpot if she had any uh, good mood whatsoever. <laughs> she did not, so, uh, no, we're good. What's Eliza's problem? Eliza, 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 what's your problem? Just, I'm just, I'm just curious. You know, you, there's no need to get mad at or something. Eliza. Case file. Not spending enough time with friends. Well, no. Right. That's a little bit of a problem. Do we have anyone who would like that? You're hanging out with Pixie. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, unicycles? Are you doing anything with anyone with unicycles? Yeah, you're riding unicycles. Okay, I don't really think that would have been what we wanted anyways. Hmm, we've got super yachts. We're already doing that. Yeah, she's fantasizing about this. So both of the super yachts people are uh, taking up. There was colonic hydrotherapy, which I think would, you know, probably help you uh, if you are, uh... If you are uh, a sporty type. Probably... I don't know. Who really could? Yeah. All right, Kenneth, you're going to be conducting the interview. What position are we applying for? We are fire eater material. All right, let's try this again. We're going to do fire eater. Edgy is a definite plus. We know that. And he said we did bad, so we're going to go active, carefree, carefree. I right, for detail. Probably don't worry. So we'll call that carefree. Okay, very good. Fire eater, physical job. Probably physical. Maybe. I mean, considering the fact that only asked about two. Oh gosh, it's asking about active twice now. How do we do? Okay, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Okay, that's carefree, active, active, which is what we want for these, obviously. Ooh, game is thinking hard. Hired effective immediately. Uh, Alana, your problem was not your job, so I guess we just made you not be a VIP then? Mm -hmm. I suppose? Um, maybe invite... Oh, gosh. Can't chat about Hollywood Expos. Well, Beatrix is like, oh, this isn't her. I was like, she's here right now! No, she's just invited. So we'll need to try and remember to fix that up. Let's talk about your problems. Intimacy with Matilda. Do, do, do. Uh, replace faffing around. Faffing around just sounds like the biggest waste of your time. Now, loafing around, that's good. Um, do you have something you can do? Like military uniforms, pickup trucks? Hold on, I have the folder here for just this purpose. Where is it? It's uh, my videos. Deify, Kitty Powers Love Life. Sheet Sporty. They like practical things. They like chic things, glam things, and vintage things. What are you doing? Riding unicycles and practicing knife throwing. So you've got... Weren't you doing military unit? Maybe they moved out. Let's, uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try hanging out with Eliza. Can't drive pickup trucks. 
because we do not have the racetrack. <laughs> All right then. Never mind. You're good. Okay, that's all. That's all. She does like glam things. We could switch one of the. I don't want to do that. Beatrix, who are your friends right now? You've got three. Chatting about Hollywood exposés, listening to dubstep, and getting body piercings. So you're all good there. What about you? How many friends do you have? Sharing internet memes and getting body piercings. She wouldn't like the memes. Buying colorful skinny jeans and fantasizing about super yachts. Oh wait, tracksuits! Weren't you friends with- Did I just miss something? Okay, first off, I need Beatrix, I need to remember to help you, alright? Let's make sure we don't mess this up, because that would be silly. So real quick, let's spend some time with friends. I think you should hang out with Alana and chat about Hollywood exposés. You have to reschedule. Let's put you guys on Saturdays now, so you can just do it tomorrow. And it'll be fantastic. Probably. Probably. There's also a chance it will not be fantastic. Well, let's talk about the problems. Got some problems here, okay? Is it, uh, oh, we don't know this one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? You and Alana? You and Alana? We need to resolve things very, very quickly. Alana! Alana! Do you like it? Uh. Okay, wonderful place at the fairground. That sounds good. Let's go to the fairground, okay? We're gonna go to the fairground. We need you to solve this real quick, like right after this, because I'm a little worried that one of you guys, hey, let's plan your wedding, all right? You ready to plan your wedding? We've already spoken to Jennifer. See, this is why we gotta get this out of the way. And now would you like to spend time with friends, perhaps? Oh, no, no, you were the one who already had everything all filled up. So that's good. Wow, things are getting exciting here. Let's, um, spend time with friends. Yes, yes, yes. Are you already friends with Eliza? No. Are you enemies with Eliza? Or do you just not know her? Good golly gosh. Okay, so we can't do anything with Eliza right now. Perhaps in the future when Pixie decides to forgive more people, we can be all good. But right now, we've got a little bit of worrying ahead of us. Resolve your affair with Alana, all right? Beatrix, why do you do this? I figured we were done with the affairs. Who? Oh, there you are, Beatrix. This is very naughty, but so exciting. I've been thinking about you all day. I can hardly control myself. Uh, no, we need to have a serious chat. I think you guys should probably end this because... I'd need as many gay marriages as I can. Like, let's, let's be serious about that. Okay. I wonder if I can do this in Excel. So how much do we have? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I don't really know how I do it, but let me try. And is, so is it six by six? Yeah. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's uh, change these all background to bright green, okay, and we're going to move on to, let's go down to the bottom. Okay, so we moved here, which means all of those are potentials, so we'll change those to yellow, except for you, you stay green, alright? Now let's go just to the right, okay? Right is good, right is good, but now we've got three. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, so let's not worry about that. Let's go up. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Up. Up. Oof. Down. No. Right? There we go. That's all we needed. I really like you as a person, but we should break this off now before anyone gets hurt. You know, like Jennifer or... Miss Alana Hike. Right, I'm sorry about that, Alana, I'm sorry, but now I can focus properly on my relationship with Jennifer. Yeah, you better hope so. You've got your wedding coming up. Ah, 
sweat long and hard, resolve five affairs without making enemies. So yes, that I believe is the hidden achievement, which I had to Google to figure that one out. Because man, oh man, I was having a hard enough time getting one affair when I Googled it. I didn't think, I, I looked at it and I was like, oh, I'm never going to be able to do that. But now it's good. We got that one. I don't need to worry about affairs anymore. I honestly thought that was number four. But hey, go us. Like, because it says without getting enemies, and I thought for sure we'd had some enemies. But hey, we've got some, you know, we've got this. Think of her hairstyle. Um, she's not going to like the hairstyle, so why don't you lie? Okay, that'll be good. Give me the 25 also. Oh, you're going to give me the X. Hey, that's not exactly, exactly what I asked for. Okay, I would prefer that you uh, help me out here. Oh good, 10 coins, or are you gonna give me the X again? X gon' give it to ya, or gon' you gon' you gon' give it to X. Something like that. It looks awful, yeah, we're lying, okay, so that's not good. Hey, do you want a friendship strike? I feel like we haven't gotten a friendship strike yet. <laughs> Is that one of the things that we need to watch out for? I don't think so. It'd be interesting though, but I'm happy. Happy we did that. Now I know I can call this episode long and hard. And good golly gosh, let's hope I never need to do that again. It hurts to give people affairs. I like being a good love coach. Oh good. Please, no more gossip. I would really, really like it if I could actually get gifts from these places that I need gifts from, alright? Oh good. You're not a resident, I can tell, because you're a, a guy. <laughs> Douglas, head ticket inspector. We're expecting the world's largest passenger hovercraft coming any minute. I would. I would like that. Yeah, go to the VIP area. Have all the fun that you possibly can, right? I don't know what her problem is, but maybe we should figure that out at some point. Okay, well, the coffee and cupcakes were most delicious. That's not what we were doing. Oh, okay. The world's largest passenger hovercraft was rather good also. Okay, good. We got a gift. I'm glad to see that we're getting gifts here. Is it something new? Train Spotter's Guide! Hoo <laughs> The greatest. Okay. We're making good progress here in this episode. I dig it. I dig it. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Fantastic. Okay. Me and my fiance Laura don't seem to have any time for intimacy. Well, that's fine. Just hope it doesn't become an affair, all right? Because we almost had that one, and that would have been e embarrassing. Okay, that might be Jennifer and Beatrix's wedding. So we want to watch out for that. Um, also, I still need a couple more coins. There, there we go. That's all I needed, apparently, so it worked out very well. And now I need one more partner panic event, I think. So uh, if you want to give me a partner panic event, that would be A-OK -okay with me. Oh, cat. Oh, I just saw you, Regina. Get your butt over here, all right? Very good. Okay, Auditorium needs a new magician. I don't know if we have... Do you think glam people would like being magicians? She's a client. I don't know. Let's go for it. Beatrix, you're annoying enough. I'm demoting you now because you had an affair. This is what you get. Can't believe I'm actually doing laundry. It's so dull. I know. Laundry is pretty dull. Speaking of, probably need to check on our laundry. It may have been sitting for quite a while. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So let's let's try this. I have no real hopes for this, but we'll do magician, and uh, that's going to be. She's definitely dressed glam. How's that go? Do you like it or do you want magician? No, glam is a minus. <laughs> okay, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay. Employ me. Employ me, please. I'll help you out. Uh, structured environment or a little bit of chaos. I'm gonna go. Chaos? Okay. Magician have a get up and go. Uh, active? I don't know. I'm really. I'm not feeling that one. Left alone. Okay, definitely needs an audience. That one, I know extrovert is A okay. Ooh, that's bad. So it's probably methodical. Um, 
relaxed and extrovert, so that'll be fine. But thank you, thank you for rejecting us, it feels very good. Oh dear, have been rejected. Yeah, I know. I tried my best, but it just wasn't good enough, I suppose. Whatever, I'll just allow it to go. We can have a couple VIPs, like, uh, they still bring in some of the more interesting, um, issues. I just might need to be a little... Do we have a double wedding? Double wedding all the way across the sky. Gosh, I can't do a falsetto. Shouldn't even try. I don't want to kill my viewers. That's not a good way to get you to a partnership. Be like, hey, everyone who watches me dies. Isn't that exciting? What hair color does she like? Does she like your black hair? No, she likes light brown hair. Don't worry, we'll help you out with that. Jesus okay, style we'll just glamify you. We'll go with the curls. We'll go with the curls. Very glam. You need to be extremely glam, right? Bright purple. Glam. Glam, glam, glam. Oh, yes. Okay, it's 93, but we have a lot of money. We gotta go with the bow. I love the bows. They're so cute. <laughs> okay. Let's get going. Also, they kind of just wear them in the dorkiest way possible. Like, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to go flat on your head. Kind of reminds me. This is going to be a really, really weird thing to say for me. But it kind of reminds me of one of the singers in the terrible... What are they called? They call it Booty Pop? Or, uh, no, Booty Step? They're called Millionaires. And they came from MySpace. And they're just... Oh, they're trashy music. But they're like two super seen girls. And it's very obvious that, uh... Oh, whoa, 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 no, okay. I hit the wrong button, this is what I wanted. She likes green hair. I guess we're gonna give you green hair. But it's, She's uh, a style type. very obvious that this is trash music. Uh, uh, I can, guess I can go with that. I don't know. I don't really like a lot of the edgy oh, hairstyles. Oh. Like, I like the edgy aesthetic, but not when it's over the top edgy. Ooh, do we go for the bandana? Yeah, go for the bandana. That way my viewers can make fun of me for the one time I wore a bandana, and they made me cry, and I'll never wear it again. I'll probably wear it again. Because my hair gets everywhere, but I don't want to cut my hair. It's such, such a toss-up, really. I didn't realize you could do this. I thought the venue wouldn't be available for both of them. Oh my gosh, they're happening at the same time at the same place. How about that? Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. I love it. They must be besties. Let's get the proposal out of the way first so that the wedding doesn't get outshone. Like, we need to work our way up. And I'm not just saying that because I just randomly chose this one and then decided in my head that it was the correct one to do first. No, no siree. She didn't really like it at the bar. That's interesting. But I hope she likes her funeral. Very good. Or funereal. I don't really no, but I can see breaking tradition. Or was that her mood? That might have been her mood, honestly. Staying in. I think the green was the bar. Getting fruity. Uh, gym visits every day. Regular gym visits. And then just being free for today. Doesn't it just sound fantastical? Boy howdy, I hope there aren't too many problems flying about. They've got some problem penalties. That's pretty bad. That's quite a few. That is quite a few. Ooh. Okay, well, all the yellow are on our side. Not that it's going to matter. I'm going to hope we stop at this green, which I think we will. So that's good enough for me. I don't really care with how little dignity we succeed as long as we succeed. Like, if I if I won on a 1 out of 12, I would just be, like, ecstatic. It's all you need sometimes. It's just a little bit of a 1 out of 12 win. Very good, you guys. You're moving on up in this world, finally. Also, Matilda, again, very difficult to tell who in the heck she is now. She is no longer the practical-ish typer. Does she sporty? I don't really know. Now we have Jennifer with all the, that's such a cute outfit. I mean, the sequin top would be like, ugh, disgusting after a while, I think. But I like it. 
and we solved your affair. So unless you're having an affair, you whose name I... Jennifer! That's Jennifer! Oh my gosh, see, like, I forgot. Because, of, like, she doesn't look like Jennifer at all, who's, like, our black-haired chic person. Oh, you like Oda Kitty unisex fragrance. I'm glad. Very good. She's in a fabulous mood. After, you know, having one last tryst, now that I know that word, with Alana. But now, it's all good, right? Okay, no affairs? Oh, good. I was a little worried that Jennifer was doing a little something behind the back, okay? Health, love, loyalty, death, future, money. Health, love, loyalty, death, future, money. Health, love, loyalty, death, future, money. Okay. Choose the correct note. Loyalty, death, future, money. Okay. Money, wealth, same thing. Health, love, loyalty, death. Health, love, love, loyalty, death. Okay, that's all we need to know. And then the other one's just on the left. Love, loyalty, death. Okay, loyalty smack dab in the middle of the remaining. Love, death. Love, death, future. Might as well. Wow, we are actually going to get a full little bar. Now, do we have any problems? I don't know. Quite possibly. Um, but that's pretty cool. That that gives me good hope. No yellows to accidentally push us into a red square. That would be not very good. Well, somehow we've spent like 500 coins. I'm down to 5,600. Come on. Do we even got to spin on, this? We have a plus 50, which I would really like to have. We're not going to be anywhere near getting it. In fact, I don't think we're going to be anywhere near getting any of them. Well, we're, we're near, but we're not going to. Well Which is a darn shame. We would like a little bit of money. Okay, but we can't always have that. But I'm glad things worked out there for like both of those. That's one extra same gender wedding that we have. We got long and hard, which was quite a difficult achievement to get. Sorry, I had to Google it. Feel bad about that one, would have loved to have figured it out, but I don't think I ever would have. And at that point, I was just not confident in my abilities. Because I already know that I'm gonna have a hard enough time solving one of every problem. Like, man oh man. What do I need to do for that? Okay. Uh huh. Let's, uh, who's got messages? Oh, yep, yeah, I knew what she was planning. Be sure to collect all of our money from both of these level ups. 100 coins or 90 coins? 100, I think. Not too shabby. Okay, now we need to go from all the wedded bliss to all the not so. Well, I guess the proposed bliss. But we got some problems, okay? I'm glad that we said we were gonna talk to her about it, because otherwise that would have been a red square and could have been pretty bad. But I want you to do a little bit. Spicy things with me more often, alright? There's good, good is fine, there's fabulous, fabulous is better, and there's a good. Yeah, five days will probably do it, because we've already talked to them about it maybe even twice at this point. Shoot, I don't know, but it'll be okay. Matilda's still waiting for a job interview. Gonna need to worry about that later. But I think as uh, I start setting up uh, level up ceremonies, I should probably give a little bit of love juice to the lovely fiancés, brides, and moving out couples, all things told. Especially like Eliza, I know, still has like a red problem that I have not dealt with. Because I don't know how to get her any friends. It's too difficult. It's time to release the love egg. She's not a very friendly person, I guess. So she may just figure that out. So you guys just need to talk about everything at this point. It really doesn't matter. So let's start with horoscopes. Definitely an utter waste of time. Our two arty types, which or no no no, not two arty types. Arty and hipster. Right? That's Isabel, maybe? Honestly, I can't remember. I changed him too much. Problem detected for Claudia? Well, thankfully we get to push it to tomorrow. So I don't need to drag this episode on much longer than it needs to be. Oh, Laura's going to try and become friends with Beatrix. I wish you the best of luck. It would be nice for everyone to have a couple more friends around here. You like to- oh yeah, eating tiny portions. You know she's down for eating tiny portions. 
I guess it's better than eating large portions every week, because if you're like, man, once a week we are going to go to Golden Corral, spend our $20, and, whoa, and just go ham. It's the only meal we're going to eat that day, and we are going to ingest 8,000 cows. All right, that's probably not such a good idea. Got a couple of these going on. I need someone to swap the roulette balls with magnetic ones. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's really good. I don't think that's allowed. I think a casino could get sued very, very intensely for that, but I love it. It's oh, really good. Okay, here's our 30 coins. going to give me a gift to... Why? Why is everyone so stingy? going to need to figure this out. All right, oh, it was not the auditorium. It's just Pixie's house. Alright, Pixie, what problems are you dealing with here? Hmm? I was just kind of thinking, uh, no hot water. Yep, that's a little bit of a problem. Let's be sure we get some hot water for you guys. Uh, just a long, like a hook to the left. That'll be fine. Just, just, like a, just like a hook to the left. No big alright. Yeah. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Fixed. All easy peasy. New. No problems whatsoever. You really have never figured out how to fix the pipes. I feel like fixing the pipes would be pretty easy if it's literally part of your pipe is missing. Be like, mm, I'm no expert, but maybe, just maybe, we want to replace that pipe. Got a message. I'm also going to do a quick check. Uh, thespian, that'd be good for an arty type. Choose a client. Definitely do that if uh, one of our arty types is uh, high up. They're not, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then is that really the only one? Magician, yeah, and then comic store clerk. I was looking to see if um, maybe... Problem with intimacy is still here. This is how you get affairs, and I do not want affairs anymore. Okay, we'll help you reveal your inner self. Hopefully you can, and then maybe that'll lead to more friends you can hang out with. Okay, it's still going. Um, I was hoping we had a sporty job for Eliza so that she wouldn't need as many friends. That would be fantastic, but we do not. Remember, remember the 4th of November, the gunpowder treason, and I'm well, pretty sure that's how it goes, probably. <laughs> But I think we are a-okay here to leave this episode. Now, uh, whew, man, talking that much, that's uh, something else right there. But I'm going to leave this episode here. I kind of enjoyed it. It did feel good to go on tangents again. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on Kitty Powers Love Life, goodbye.